Hi guys, uh, we'll be talking about a very important topic today. Firstly, I want to welcome, welcome everybody to Bascom Tech uh, Training Masterclass. Um, today we'll be talking about how to install Linux Sent OS 7.8 on VMware Tech Pro. To make it simple, how to install Linux on VMware. As I said before, you can install Linux Powerful virtual box. You can also install it on VMware. Both of them are virtualization uh, uh, applications which can be used for installation. So, welcome everybody. Now, the first thing we are going to do um, we'll go towards this is our VMware application right there. So, the first thing we are going to do, we are going to click on this plus sign, create a new virtual world machine. Yes, so the next thing we'll do, we're going to click on what's next. Next thing we'll do, we're going to click on what next. So click on speaker, or so we're going to click on next. Um, so we have an there are three options here. We have, you can use the installer disk. You can use an ISO file. You can also what you can also use the operational or system or data. But we're going to use what the ISO file. So before starting this, you must have your ISO file. For Linux software. So today I'm going to use where that uh, CentOS 7.8 Linux software. So after that, I check where I installed software in my system. So this is it. Then I think CentOS here, 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 this one. Yeah, so this is the ISO file. You can see. You can see the file format is of ISO. So we have done the work, the first step. The next thing we are going to do, so we are going to click on Next, yeah. So you're gonna give what uh, the name. You're gonna give a name for your what for your operating system. So I'm going to send to us. Password, so that's called a password. So, let me make this one small too. So, okay. okay. Next to people. Next. Now, the next thing now, you now have to tell me what uh, the virtual machine name. So we're going to give it what? Uh, Central S0.64 bits. You can give it any name. Yes, sir. Central S7 bits. 7 bits. Seven bits. Seven bits. Then this is the path. So you click on what? So that is this little path. Path. I think this is OK. Next. Now here, what? The, the disk space. I'm going to give the disk space to the what? Let's let me look it up. Let me click on there. I'm going to So I think so. If you have done all this, I think you are okay. So next time. Now for the size, you can let the size be 50 gig, 80 gig, 90 gig, depending on what you are doing. So we are going to leave it at 100 gig. We will have to go next. Then also take note that what? The, uh, the so you can store it to what in a single disk or a single disk. Let's do it in a single disk. Let's do it in a single disk. Let's do it in a Then here, we will now do some settings. You can see that the RAM is 1 GB here. 1 GB here. We can click here to customize. So we can now watch. So I want my own size. Because I'm going to install the power quality server. I'm going to make it like 4. So 4 is OK. Then we'll do some other settings. I think this is OK. You can cross check also what you have done. So after customizing this, and you check that okay, even if, you're, if you don't have enough uh, RAM or up to 4 GB, you can make it one or two. Everything depends on the game in which you are using to work, uh, install. So you just say okay, you want to uh, work with this or what you So anything you want, just 
the more resources you have, the faster we are to your team. So that's your objective. The next thing we'll do, uh, after the Hold on a second. So the installation begins. So let's hold on. So this page comes up. So the installation continues. Just the okay. So you hold on for the installation to start. It's taking one second. Just hold on. So hold on, it's checking the system requirements. So the more resources you need, the faster what the installation process. Just hold on. So you are seeing it from starting selection within the moment, within the moment. So after all this process, the pre-exercise checks. So the GU high page will come up. So let's just go over. This page comes up. So after setting the password, you can also set the desired uh, position. So let's go into the dashboard. I'm using my Twitter also, apart from this user. The selection process is going, let's hold on. So the next thing we're going to do, we're going to set the location particularly here. So that's which I'll put on my Lagos, Nigeria. The next thing we will do now, uh, we are going to set the keyboard, leave it at the default keyboard setting. Yeah, leave it at the worst, the default word, the keyboard was. For the keyboard setting, we'll leave it at the default keyboard setting. Click on this. For the language, we'll leave it as English. Um, the installation source, we'll leave it as the default installation source. Are you there? Um, yeah, for the software selection, yeah, so it has to be server with GUI. Now, there are some other components here which I like want to install, like position tools, uh, libraries. Um, Okay, watch your clients. This because I want to install as much components as possible, so I won't do install installation again after. I can, I, let me post guest DB, um, Maria DB also. Just put enough components. Just put enough components. Yes. Okay, I think this is okay. Yeah, I think I'm done. The next component uh, we we'll install here. Um, okay. The installation source we talked about it. Okay. So the language is English. We talked about it. So it has to be English. Okay, the next thing we'll talk about, we'll talk about what? Installation destination. Now, uh, there are two things we can do here. We can either we leave, it, leave it as default or we partition it. Yes, and so when you configure the partition, that means you are giving it what? Different what? Sizes. For example, if you want to install Oracle, you give it a particular size, and that particular size will now be used to what? <clears throat> to determine other uh, components. So, if, 
So the next one we'll do here. Yeah? So let's check the view. Uh, let's go to view. Let's take a full screen. Okay. Now let's choose, choose what I, I will want. Partition what I would like to what make additional. No, that's it. I will. Let's just carry this extension. So when you click on this, it gives you more options to now determine what you want to choose. So we have 90 gig to choose. So let's click on add. Let's leave that also. Okay. Click on resume. From there, you click on this one. Uh, first. So, the first thing you do, your U01. So, there's some person you have to repeat. Let's give it 20 gig. Come first time, another one. For your roots, let's give roots. Very cool. Edit this with okay, thank you. Yeah, it has to be GIB. Thank you, dear. Yeah, right. Okay. I'll the home directory. Let's give the home directory. Thank you also. For the boots, let me the boots directly 3 gig. For the swap space, let's give the swap space. So this all this partition just need to be they need to be set because they are default. So let's give Swap it to the swap it to the uh, directly I want to start, okay? Like the VR directly to it to the Let's give this one to the game so. Um, so which are directly? Let's say exactly. Okay, swap. Let's give it to the
Then lastly, uh, let's give this one to the I think we are okay. Um, so. We set all the Mala partitions. Um, let's give her a year one. Year one, 22. Let's sit down. Let's click on accepting this. Yeah, so we've done the work. Normally, you can either set all this one manually, uh, you, can leave it, you can allow the system, the Linux system, to set all the partition. But since we want to configure our phone, so let's give it a minute. For the KDOMs, let's give it as default. Down software selection, the network selection. This one, this is your own, so you can call, call this one CentOS. CentOS 7. Uh, uh, host name CentOS. Uh, CentOS 7. Dash Linux. Then for the IP, um, we have two options. You can either turn the Ethernet on. So if we leave it on, this is the default IP it's giving us. Yes, and so uh, I think let's save this somewhere. Let me look for somewhere to save this. It will be useful. Uh, okay. Let's, let's this file. I'm going to call it partition. Sometimes always good to save some of your files. Okay. So next thing we do, let's click on done. Okay. For the security policy. Just leave this. And for the license agreement, I think we've done this. Make sure that components have not been installed. I think we are okay. Let's go down. Okay. So, almost all the components we've checked it. So we just click on the installation. Now for the root password, we have to set our root password here. Let's set our root password. It's always better for your root password to to, to, to the key sensitive capital letters, monitor, and special character. Let's click on run. Okay. Okay. User creation, let us create user bash. Okay. Okay, then let's, I can make it a video so click on. Okay. Password which you will remember, not to write. So I think we've done like 98% of the solution process. This I mean just in that you have to just check everything properly and make sure that okay your files are properly installed and your settings are okay. The type of installation you do actually it's actually based on what you want to achieve with your installation. So um probably our next video we'll talk about how to um Install our phone on VMware. So, okay, so I think we've done. Let's wait for the installation to be complete and we continue.
or something. It's, it's horrible. I think we are good to go. So successfully installed uh, Santo S7 Linux on VMware. It's easy, just have to follow the step and start to uh, Thank you very, very much for taking the care to go through this lecture. It's not easy. Time that I will be able to go through. So see you all in our next. Next thing we're going to do, I think we're going to work on how to install all our things. And then what's the deal? I'm going to pass you over to you all in our next class. Have a nice day, everyone. Bye.